trouble. No. You are. Listen to me, Gundy Dale. I'm going to hurt you. I'll hear you, little fool. We want everybody to hear. Come here. Oh, Stop. 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 Say to Nelly. Johnny, I went over it a hundred times in my mind, remembering every word. Novak, it's like my own right hand. I'll kill him so I'll be. Johnny, no, you mustn't think like this. Johnny, listen to me. This is a shimmy game over at McKiss. The fun and games are over for Mr. Nelly. Oh, Johnny, you've got to listen to I'm me. I'm through listening. The party's over. Mickey, give me Novak, quick. Johnny, you've done a million lousy things in your life, and you've dirtied your hands many times. But you never had blood on them. No, Novak? Miss Solo, I want to see you right away. No, I can't tell you on the telephone. At the Flamingo. I'll be waiting. Johnny, you go for a gun, and I'll stop you. I know enough to stop you, Johnny. You'll stop me. What is this? Step solo in the back week? Johnny, you go for a gun, and I'll be the one who puts you away. I know there's no hope for us, but I'm thinking of you, because I've seen it. I've seen it getting rougher and rougher every day. I sat there in the dark tonight, and I kept thinking, if I tell him, what will he do? And if I don't tell him, then what will they do? You did right. Anyway, I haven't got a gun. I'll fix Novak so there are no scars. It can't be them. It can't be. No, they wouldn't be that stupid. It's probably some drunk. Who is it? Police. Who's there? Police, open up. Mr. Solo, may we come in? Seems as if you're in already, Inspector. Working late tonight, aren't you? Not unusual in my profession, Inspector. Oh, who are you? Midnight Franklin. I work here. Come into the office, Inspector. Unusual hour for a visit, Inspector. Are you acquainted with a girl of the name of um, Stephanie Beatrice Swanson? Swanson? No, I don't believe that. She was perhaps known to you as Ponytail Swanson. Was? She's dead, Mr. Solo. Very dead indeed. Do you mind? No. Certain questions I shall require you both to answer. How did, how did it happen? When did you last see Miss Swanson? She was here tonight, about midnight. Miss Franklin was here, wasn't there? You saw her? At the same time? Yes, she did. She worked for you? Yes. And she left here to meet a certain uh, Mr. Arpels at his apartment, correct? You uh, arranged this uh, appointment, correct? Mr. Solo, were you aware of the age of the dead girl? Well, she must have told us her age at some time. Isn't it your practice to keep a record of the ages of the girls in your employ? Solo, I want to see your staff. Girls included. Now, Sergeant Taylor. Yes, sir. He'll help you telephone around. If necessary, we'll send a van out to bring him in. Oh, and before I ask you any more questions, 
Here's something that might uh, interest you. Ponytail Swanson was 16 years old. A month ago. Interesting little uh, statistic, isn't it? A girl has been killed tonight. Do you understand that? Killed. A girl were hardly old enough to be out of school. And all any of you can do is to sit around with your mouth full of teeth. All right, I'll, I'll give it to you once again. Mr. Javel, are you prepared to swear on oath that in your presence, Solo was told that Ponytail was under the age of 16? Yes. I am prepared to swear then. And you, Miss uh, Van Roth, will you testify that Solo persuaded, encouraged this girl to keep her rendezvous tonight with the late Mr. Harfield? Yes, I will. Thank you. All right. But one witness isn't enough. I need corroboration. Anybody. Who the hell do you think you're protecting, anyway? I'm telling you. Arpels was a man with three convictions for criminal assault, and Solo must have known that. Are you afraid of losing your jobs? Your skins, then, is that it? All right. I personally will guarantee every one of you police protection if you come clean with me. Did you get that, Mr. Solo? Well, how about you? Miss America has nothing to say. All right, get out of here, all of you. to worry about you, Lillian. I'll be difficult to keep track of. They don't like people without visas or passports. I do. And they're sending me out of the country. Fine. When they do, I'll be there to carry your bag. Inspector, do you care for one for the road? No, thanks. Oh, of course, you're on duty. No, it's not that. It's just I'm careful where I drink. Inspector? What is it? I have something to tell you. A lot of things. You lied to me, Johnny. Midnight. Wait a minute. Don't let me peer talk, through. Johnny, it's too late. Twelve o'clock. Let me talk to you a moment alone. A moment isn't enough, Johnny. It never has Don't been. do it, twelve o'clock. Don't let me down now. My God, Johnny. That's just it. I'm not letting you down. Go on. I'll tell you anything you want to know, Inspector. I'll tell you that Johnny knew about the girl's age. So did I. He knew and did nothing about it. I warned him, so did all the others. But Johnny knew best. Johnny always knew best. We'll take your statement to the station, Miss Franklin. Johnny? Solo by nature. I should have known better. I want you alive, Johnny. I want you alive and in one piece. This is the only way to stop you shooting at Novak if Novak didn't kill you first. Oh, no. This hurts you more than it hurts me. Don't laugh at me, Johnny. You know it's true. You mean it's going to be true? That's enough of the rough stuff, Solo. You're coming with us. Hi, Johnny. You want to see? No, Vic. Too late to knife or be knife. You'll know my manager. I have no secrets from him. Oh, is that so? 
Well, in that case, maybe you'd better come with us, too. Now, wait a minute. You can't put anything on me. It was Donnelly's idea to plant operas here and make all that trouble. I knew nothing about it, nothing at all. Apparently. Put him in the car. And make sure it's not the same one as Solo. Oh, put him. Take me to your leader. Me. 